All right, folks. We got a red dot. Welcome back to Three Three to Go. I am in downtown Akron right now. I am outside the OK. Uh, where am I? I am on. I'm on Bowery by High. I'm on Bowery by High. And the group that was down in front of the uh, police station is now mobile. They are marching now um, and occupying the streets. So there will be, uh, expect traffic disruptions in the downtown area. There are a number of vehicles that are also uh, in this uh, protest march. Going up that hill? Right. They gotta get over four now. I will, uh, I will be bringing you intermittent coverages throughout the day and into the evening just to keep everybody uh, aware of the situation that's taking place downtown. Just be advised that you are going to see things. Um, if I am correct in saying what I think is accurate, Ohio is an open carry state. If anybody wants to correct me on that, uh, please do so. And um, there, there are, the, uh, I believe they also changed the rules uh, in regards to the CCW in the middle of June, the state of Ohio rules changed on that as well. So, so uh, once again, what news channel is on? Three three to go. Huh? You know that was fucked up. That was fucking overkill. I know, but I, I got four sons. Okay. I called out today about this. Okay. All right. So folks, uh, once again, this this group is. This group is growing. Um, you can see the vehicles. Vehicles are still coming. Again, we are we are on Bowery by South High. And it looks like they have gone. They're out by the, uh, you see the Quaker Square area up there. It looks like they're going down Broadway sun right now so I cannot read the comment section um, once again if you are familiar with our comment section policy we do allow people uh, to have dialogue but please uh, do not please do not attack each other in the comment sections because those will be up for review and if people report a comment if there's threats of violence or anything along that in the comments um, that could be reported directly to Facebook and then they will ban you so you, you know just um, this is a uh, this is a um, emotional and challenging time for everyone right now. And the motorcade continues. More cars, more cars are still coming by. Looks like they're going up Broadway. 
Looks like they're going up Broadway now. So I'm assuming I'm gonna head on over toward uh, toward uh, downtown area toward police headquarters. All right, let me uh, let me catch my breath. Let me catch my breath. Give me a second here. All right, so we're we are on. I'm standing uh, on the middle of South High Street. You saw that um, the press conference earlier. It's all being carried. It's all it's all on national news now. Um, So there's going to be a lot of, a lot of, a lot of coverage over the next days, next weeks. Um, and again, one of the biggest press conference notes that I gathered in, in that press conference is the fact that it is being investigated by an outside agency. So I'm walking on down here. My normal perch to cover this kind of stuff is right over here by St. Bernard's. Um, I will point out that police are trying to provide, um, police are trying to provide traffic protection for the group that is currently marching and they were closing down Bowery as I was walking up. I would expect that that group is going to continue to march throughout Akron area streets. So just be advised today if you were in the downtown area traveling or even if you're coming down to the Rubber Ducks game later, um, there could be some significant disruptions, uh, you know, as far as um, traffic patterns and that sort of thing. I think they have gathered in front of the courthouse, which is on the other side of the Justice Center. Here's the Harold Stubbs Justice Center, which is which is the uh, Akron Police Department. guessing they're going to be coming back down all the all the news crews are set up over here at the corner there's an actual news desk set up over here i don't know what station that is but they've got a full desk and everything get up this hill here I am going to uh, I'm gonna try and cover this one as safely as possible folks <sighs> give me a sec let me catch my breath I don't remember being this out of shape in 2020 that pandemic really added some pounds on me The barriers are up now.
It is warm today. Near, near 90 degrees. a hike. See the Old Inventors Hall of Fame in the background there. So, uh, whew, walking up those hills in this heat, man. All right, it is. We're at University University Avenue and Broadway. University Avenue and Broadway. Again, these folks are moving, so pay attention, downtown Akron. Uh, this is all in the wake. This is all in the wake of, of, of today. situation for all parties involved right and it's important to allow these folks to, to share their voice and to to let out that frustration we're uh, we're absolutely hoping that it stays peaceful um, and again as you pointed out my job is to just let the camera my job is to let the camera tell the story uh, you know I try and do it without an opinion and and uh, it's hard because I've got my own thoughts on what I saw today I actually was in the room for the press conference um, and there was an audible gasp when, when, the, when the video took place. And you figure these are people that do this for a, a living from all over the U.S. that were in there in that room with me. Um, and for them to react that way uh, tells me tells me the severity of this situation. I had one of the biggest things that stuck out to me was when the police chief was responding. One of the reporters asked him a question. I don't know who it was, but he asked them. Uh, 
how do you feel about the uh, situation as far as the, the amount of rounds that were fired? Right. And he said he said that he didn't have he said he had an opinion. Yes. But he wasn't going to say it at that time. Correct. And I feel that me personally, I feel that was a failure to this community. Him being a new police chief, right? I understand politics. I got ten years of correct people checking services. Okay. I understand the politics that he fell victim to. He felt like because he's a new police chief, right? He didn't want to ruffle the feathers of his subordinates by sticking his gut feeling because he's trying to gain some kind of control. And to me, I feel his responsibility was to the people, not to that department. Well, and 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 again, and looking at looking at his position. He kind of, I kind of take the same tactic that he does in regards to it's. It, it, I read. Did you see the press conference briefing I read after? Did you uh, see that? I don't, I didn't Check it later when you get okay. a chance. Because I actually had, and I should, I, I didn't think I should have brought it with me. Um, but it, it tells you how the investigation is going to take place and how long it's going to take place, and that's a that's a critical piece to this. Right. Because you know, instead of. I, <laughs> There are going to be a lot of questions, and a lot of those questions are going to remain. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so, the, you know, the point is, the hardest thing for us to do right now is to be patient, right? And and so that's that's why that's why I said I'm just going to let the camera tell the story. All right. You, you get back with your folks. Hey, appreciate you. Thank you. All right. All right. Be safe. All right. Sure. Okay. So they are now going, where are we? They are now going down Broadway. The barricades have been removed because they were not going to stop. Um, and they're heading on down. So again, I'm going to be bringing you intermittent coverage. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you just heard that conversation. Uh, that just took place between me and that gentleman. I, I, I didn't catch his name, but because he, he's live on his radio channel right now. Um, but those are those those are the kind of conversations that need to take place with all of us. You know, he's he's middle aged black man. I'm middle aged white guy. You know, we don't know each other personally. We just know each other by the work the, the work that we do. But in that short exchange that you just saw between me and him. These are the conversations that need to happen. And it's just having that general respect and that general understanding that we each have thoughts, emotions, and opinions on this matter. And um, so I really appreciate him taking the time to stop and, and, and say hi to me. Um, that's it. That's all I got, folks. I'm going to shut down live now. I'll be, well, yeah, I'm going to shut down. Yeah. Should I? I don't know. Let me... Yeah, I'm going to shut down live now, and then I'll, I'll go back somewhere else. We'll be back in a bit. All right? Take care, folks. And we're back. This is our second, actually our third portion of coverage now uh, from downtown Akron. I went live on Twitter for the Twitter folks to get an opportunity to see what's going on because we also have a we're still following on Twitter as well. And the I'm from I'm up in my perch. This this is this is my perch where I would film back in 2020 when this sort of thing was going on. And it's a little little nook where I can be in the shade over by St. Bernard's. So I'm at the corner of a high and I'm at High End University. Uh, we're directly in front of uh, the police station. Um, I see a comment that came in it says Black Lives Matter was destroying the city back in 2021. Um, not Akron. I covered the vast majority of the protests that took place in 2020. And, you know, use the right year if you're going to make a comment like that. Uh, and 
There was a couple windows that got broke, and one of them was from a kid with a skateboard from Sandusky that didn't even belong here in the first place. Um, so no, they, Akron's Akron's stuff was pretty pretty peaceful back in 2020. There was, you know, I covered like seven or eight different vigils or marches or protests, whichever it was, and you know, back then it was it was I had I had eyes on everything, and you know, a couple water bottles thrown here and there, but it, it wasn't like a, you're making it, you say a riot. It wasn't a riot. Um, but no, I again here we are. Uh, the cars, you see, vehicles are now blocking the the area, which it already was blocked off everywhere. Anyway, um, uh, High Street is closed, so High Street and Broad are both blocked off on both sides of the police station and the courthouse areas. I'd say the size of this gathering is in the two to three hundred people range, somewhere around there. Um, there were probably maybe I don't know fifteen to thirty vehicles that were in the uh, in the in the motorcade area that were uh, that were part of the the that were part of it as well. Yes, I am. I'm. Uh, I, I'm. I run three throw to go. I'm. I'm, I'm part of the team. Yeah. That lady had questions. I tried to help her. I don't. I don't, I don't understand what she wants, but um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, folks, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't see my previous coverage, just uh, hop on that one after I'm done here. I had a really good conversation uh, with a gentleman about everything going on, and and we had a chance to just talk for like two minutes, and it was, it was a, it was some good thought between the two of us. Um, and he runs. He runs a. He runs a group similar to what, what we do here, uh, uh, like a, on online radio station type situation. So, all right, that's pretty much it for my coverage today. Um, I'm gonna kind of pack up, head for home. There are a couple other marches that I know that are scheduled that are taking place in other parts of the city tonight. Um, I may or may not come back down. For the evening hours, I would prefer not to, um, unless something really pops off. I'm gonna stay home with my family tonight, and tomorrow, just to give you an idea, I'm taking it. I need a break, so I'm I'm gonna make I'm gonna smoke some ribs and uh, cover. Most likely I'll cover the Fairlawn, the Fairlawn festivities, the Fairlawn fireworks. Um, I will not be covering Akron fireworks tomorrow. And that's all I got from here. You can see the, the march is back on the move. So they, they spoke in front, in front of the Justice Center. And again, you can see You'll see the vehicles go by, and they're on the move again, which means that there will be uh, disruptions throughout the Akron area throughout the evening. So 
if you are coming down for any reason. I, I did want to make a correction from what I said earlier. Uh, the Akron Rubber Ducks. Um, I thought they had a game. I thought they had a game tonight. That was my mistake. Uh, tonight's uh, fa uh, like a family movie night with fireworks. I don't know if that event is still on because I'm I'm out here on the road. Uh, so I, um, I I I know that I was corrected in the previous video that it the, that it was um, it was a movie night along with fireworks. So let you know someone can someone can comment on this video to to see if um, all right it, I, I, okay that you're saying right now it's canceled all right so it's canceled all right so there you go so my my mistake uh earlier because i just i was out on the field and on the road and waiting on the guardians to beat the yankees thank god um and i just didn't have that information but now everyone's chiming in and now you know the event is canceled so thank you for um thank you for sharing that information all right okay that's all i got guys um I'm gonna, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna head home. And like I said, I'm gonna try and just take tomorrow off and, and enjoy a 4th of, 4th of July with my family. I'm gonna make some ribs because the rib festival was canceled, so I'm gonna make my own. And, um, and go and, uh, and uh, you know, I'll cover the I'll cover Fairlawn. I'll cover the Fairlawn uh, music and the Fairlawn fireworks. All right, that's all I got. Take care, folks. Have a good night, everybody, and everybody out there. Say good night, Shirley. <laughs>